Hello and welcome to video number six, where we talk about e-commerce automation. So if you run any sort of e-commerce site and you're selling products or services, then this video is for you. If you're not, let's say you're running a WordPress membership site, then you can skip this video and then head to that video. So in terms of automation, it really comes down to what is running your e-commerce shop. If you're running an e-commerce shop utilizing WordPress, you're most likely gonna be using WooCommerce simply because it is one of the best and it is leading and it is actually run by the people who run WordPress. So the code is really good and it's always updated very, very frequently. So if you go to WooCommerce.com, that's WooCommerce.com, and you go under the extension store and you look for a plugin called Automate Woo, and you scroll down, you can get an idea of how it can automate a lot of pieces of your e-commerce store. Now it is 99 bucks. Sometimes you can get good deals whenever they launch something brand new. Sometimes they'll come out with like 20% discounts. But I definitely can say that I have seen them come out with Black Friday sales all the time. So that's actually a really good time to stock up on your plugins in terms of the ones by WooCommerce. So as you can see, it says here it can automate and optimize communication for your customer. In terms of follow-up emails, you can set up the abandon cart emails. So in other words, if somebody adds something to their cart and they leave, you can contact them. So here are other features that Automate Woo has. So you can win back inactive customers. You can target inactive customers with email marketing campaigns, SMS notifications, review rewards. It basically just makes the life of your customer a lot easier, more fun to get people to spend more money in your site. Now, bear in mind, this is an e-commerce site. So a lot of these can actually be used for memberships as well. Now, in terms of WooCommerce, if you're just using WooCommerce by itself, you're not using memberships or subscriptions or anything like that. You're just selling products. Another option that you can take to automate specific tasks that you need is by simply by going to Zapier. So we talked briefly about this in the previous video, that's Z-A-P-I-E-R.com. And you'll see when you scroll down and you do a search for WooCommerce, you'll see this. And you can see that it connects with a variety of different other programs. So let's say somebody makes a purchase and you want to add them to active campaign immediately. You don't want to have to write it down and then, you know, upload it to an autoresponder or, or even let's say you want to have a spreadsheet filled with all of the orders so that when you do your taxes at the end of the year, you have it in front of you. So if you wanted to do that, that's not something that you could be doing with like Automate Woo. That's something that you would have to use with Zapier. So let's say we want to connect with Google Sheets. So as you can see, WooCommerce plus Google Sheet integrations. And you can see here that anytime somebody, let's say, buys a product, you can add them to a specific row on the Google spreadsheet sheets. So it really comes down to what are tasks in your business that are just taking a lot of time. Write those down and even though it may you may think that it doesn't really fit, you most likely will be able to find a solution with Zapier because there's so many different integrations with all these other different plugins. Now, Zapier does cost money, but for the most part, it's fairly cheap and the lower level is really not expensive at all. So this is what I highly recommend if you want to automate 
your e-commerce store. There are plugins out there, but at the end of the day, it really depends on what you as a business owner, as an e-commerce shop owner needs to automate. So write that down and then go to the site and find the solution.